there's so many beautiful birds and uh, and really if you don't go looking for them you'll never see them again good morning my, I'm Kip Miller I'm a volunteer guide for Aiken and uh, what we have planned this morning is just a walk around the lake it's like a mile and a quarter and so Aiken is kind of slowly starting to get things going again carefully uh, with masks and, and all that smaller groups they have a real yeah. Basically, uh, birding is another term for bird watching. And uh, what we do is we get out and kind of enjoy the diversity of birds that uh, we find out of doors around us, maybe out beyond the backyards. And a lot of people enjoy bird watching right in their backyard, but there are lots of other birds that occur beyond your backyard. And uh, here in Colorado, anywhere there's water attracts uh, wild ducks and geese. And uh, so our, our goal today was to walk around, see and enjoy as many of those as possible. Here's uh, I wish this male canvas back would put his head up. If you look in here, you'll see uh, kind of reddish-headed ducks. You know, Colorado is a semi-arid region, and so anywhere you have water will attract water birds, whether it's in an urban setting or a rural setting. And one of the nice things about Prospect Lake is uh, you can walk all over, you know, there's, there's trail and beach all around it, so you can walk around and have good visibility on the birds here. Uh, also, there are trees along the edges and some shrubs and things, so uh, during the periods when land birds are migrating, you can, you can mix the waterfowl with land bird watching. Uh, all right here, close to home, you know, right just outside of downtown Colorado Springs. Well, I guess to me the real beauty of it is just, well, especially when you think of like migration, uh, the fact that th there's some of these small birds that the winter in Central America or Mexico or even some go as far as South America and then they come back through here and they'll breed in the northern U.S. and Canada. The fact that, that these tiny little animals can cover that kind of distance is just, to me, it's just mind-boggling. And it's great fun to, uh, you know, to intercept them by being out birding and catching them as they're moving in migration. Or if you're a traveling type birder to, you know, go north and see where they nest and maybe even go south in the winter and, you know, see them on a trip to Mexico or Costa Rica. Well, I just love getting out and looking for birds. And, you know, it's, uh, you never know what you'll find. Um, some days you don't find that much and then other days you're surprised by something you weren't, you know, totally not expecting. And it just, it makes it a lot of fun.